Gino used to live in a small town, but because of his job, he had to move to a big city one year ago. At first, he was really excited. There are so many activities organized in cities, he thought he would never get bored. But Gino had to admit he was not all satisfied with the city life. He missed gardening, he missed knowing old people living nearby, and he missed the flavor of vegetables he could find in town. But Gino was not one to be discouraged easily, and so he decided to start gardening on his balcony. Gino's balcony was in the shadow all day, and his plants did not get enough light. Gino started to think that his efforts were pointless. Gino was at work when a colleague showed him a magazine article. Hey Gino, you started doing urban agriculture, right? You should read this. The article was titled, Paris to open the largest roof farm in the world. The roof would have direct sunlight all day, and enough space for farming too. He put a paper at each floor of his building, letting all the neighbors know about the garden project and inviting them to the first Sunday farming. Although his neighbors did not seem interested, they accepted, and Gino started at once. After the first harvest, Gino gave one tomato to his neighbors, and he surprised them with a taste. Wow, it looks delicious. Thank you, Gino. After this, some of the neighbors came to see what was going on on the roof. They seemed to be more interested now. They told Gino that they would be willing to help and get involved in the garden. Great! There is still a lot of room that we can use to grow more plants. Two months later, the garden is well arranged and 10 people are helping Gino. Neighbors got to know each other and kids learned about food. 